Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects, and today we're going to take a deep dive into Filmora 12's newest tool, Smart Cutout. Let's get started. First off, what is this AI Smart Cutout thing? Well. It's pretty simple. Filmora has figured out a way to find the object that you want to cut out of a picture or a video. And I'm going to demonstrate. So first off, I'm just using some stock footage here. And on this, let me hide the top track. On the bottom track, I have just a scene, uh, like a snowy path with some snowy trees. And on the top track, I have two sheep. So I want to cut this sheep out and put it onto that background. Now, normally I would go through some masking, uh, all kinds of craziness, but with the new AI tool feature, Smart Cutout, it's as easy as this. Highlight the clip that you want to work with. We're going to use the top one because we want to cut out that sheet. Activate your Smart Cutout feature by just clicking this button and click right there to bring up the Smart Cutout window. Now it will already detect if it's a photo or a video, and we're going to demonstrate a video in a minute. And we have a couple things to look at before we actually jump right in. First off is your brush size. So look right here at the circle, and that's my brush. I can make it really big if I'm working on something huge, or if I need a little detail, I can bring it down a little smaller. I'll set it back to the default. Edge thickness and edge feather, if you're familiar with the masking tools, probably know what these are. Um, pretty straightforward, you know, how thick do you want the edge of the cutout? and the edge feather is really kind of like a blur effect. Let's go ahead and watch the AI smart cutout in action. I'm gonna take this sheep out right here. I just wanna cut it right out and put it on the other background. Now let's increase our brush size a little bit to catch a little more of the sheep and we'll start at the head and just kind of draw a squiggly line down. With our mouse wheel, you can roll, zoom in, or you can just go up here and choose where you want it. Started with fit. So I'm going to zoom in to see what I might have missed. And you can see there's a little bit there. You can see there. And also you can see my brush size is huge now because I've zoomed in. So I need to bring this brush size down. And I'm just going to left click and just draw a line into the areas that I missed. And it's going to do a little AI and try to figure it out and fill it in for me. So this is how you can just do a quick little touch up. That was a good one there. It's pretty much got her now and we can use a little um, uh, edge thickness and stuff to fill in the rest now if you want to scroll up and down in this image you just simply go to the little picture of the hand for pan left click and drag and you can see um you've got a little around the ears to take care of so back to the smart brush just touch a little ear there a little ear there a little on the top of the head now keep in mind i am zoomed way in so it looks like it's missed more than it really has so let's go back to fit and that pretty much takes care of that sheep. I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. And there he is. The sheep has been cut from the top and is now showing onto the bottom. You can take the sheep, do a little scale, position him. Maybe uh, let's put him back there by that tree. So we'll make him even a little smaller, too small. Kind of make him match in with the tree, bring him down a little bit. And, and there you go. The sheep has been magically cut out of the top clip and placed into the bottom clip. Okay, so that's one use of smart cutout. Let's go back to it again. Now you can still modify what you did. Just simply go back, click back in it, and it'll bring you right back to where you were. So let's say that you finished and you said, oh no, no, I need some feathering. Well, you can just come back, add a little feather, hit save, and it's automatically done for you. All right, let's go back to the smart cutout again. I want to show you a few more features of this that are pretty important. So let's blow it up. Now let's say we made a mistake and we didn't want this part over here. Well, there's an eraser tool. So now we're just going to start drawing lines where we want to erase. Let's just erase a line right there. Okay, we got it. Let's go back to where we were. The pan, I already showed you. Okay, the fit. Uh, you can choose these. Uh, I prefer the mouse wheel I, so I can go in increments. And this is uh, one of the most interesting functions right here. This is to invert the mask. So let's say what we really wanted to do was to cut out everything except that sheet. Everything except that sheet. Let's go to fit and reverse the mask. And there you go. Now everything except that sheet is done. And let me show you what that looks like. Okay. So what we have is uh, kind of a mess now. Let's bring this back to uh, the normal size. So now you've got everything except that sheet. So you've got the image from underneath showing through the hole where you cut it out. Uh, that can work for a lot of things. It's not what we want to do today. Again, just jump right back to smart, invert that back, and we're right back where we were. Let's show you the last two things here. We have a preview mode, toggle, 
alpha overlay. Well, that's what we're looking at right now. Toggle transparency grid. Okay, so if you're trying to fit to uh, make something transparent, you want to see what it looks like. That's what you can do. Toggle transparency black. Okay, so now you just basically take everything out except the object that you have smart cut out. And finally, toggle alpha, which is the opposite. We're going to set this back to alpha overlay. And you can also change the overlay color to anything you want. If you don't like that purple and you need it to be red, well, there you go. Okay, I wonder what color that was. That was pretty close. All right, that's that. And he's back. And then, like I said, we did a little feather on him. You can take him, transform him, position him, flip him. Well, once you get this stage done, you can do anything you want. You can even go ahead and start putting some effects um, over top of him, around the other video, whatever you want to do. All right, let's move on to using Smart Cutout in a video. But first, let's put something we want in the background we'll use uh, this scene of the beach and the sunrise or sunset let's stretch our clip out a little bit so we know where we are first thing we want to do is fill that up so let's click on it and hit crop to fit all right next up let's find something to smart cut out and put above it. i'm going to use these birds let me quickly scroll across and show you that i've got two birds going on one bird crosses the other bird so this is going to be a very advanced version but we can do it so first thing we want to do is just go ahead and just cut the birds to equal the first clip come all the way back to the beginning left click on the top of video clip again go to ai tools activate smart cutout click on it now things are going to be a little different here as you can see right there it already recognized it's a video instead of a photo i'm rolling my mouse wheel to make this as big as I can get it. I'm going to lower my brush size till it makes sense. And I'm going to grab not that much of the bird. And there we go. The bird is done. I'm going to throw just a little bit of uh, feathering on it till it looks good. And the edge thickness, I think I'm going to, oh, no, we don't want to reduce it. Let me bring it up just a tiny bit. No, that's too much. Let's bring it up uh, to one. Depending on the uh, image that you have, the video that you have, you know, you'll mess with this and this and this, and you'll get it all the way you like. Next thing we're going to do, now this is different than a photo. Next thing we're going to do is click to start the smart cutout, because what it's going to do is track this image and cut it out through the entire video clip. So just simply left click, tracking processing. Now you notice the bird that just came through. That might cause us a slight issue, but we'll see if we can work that out. Go ahead and hit save. There you go. The bird has been cut out and is now in the other image. Go to basic, I'm gonna reduce it so it looks right. Bring it up and we're gonna do a quick scroll through to see if that other bird came in right there. See the other bird came in. And to fix that is pretty easy. We're just gonna make sure our top clip is selected. We'll go back to smart cut out again. And we're gonna drag the playhead across to where the birds collide right there. See how that bird picked up the coloring and that's what we're going to have to adjust and we'll use the little pan button here. So what we're going to do is just back this up till that first happens right about there. Use the eraser, bring your brush size down quite a bit. Just put a tiny little mark there and you can see that I'm erasing the other bird and we'll go frame by frame. See if we can take a little more out. And anyway, this is painstaking work, but this is how you would do it if you have an image that crosses over another image. Um, I would say the fact that you can do it at all is pretty cool. Okay, so no purple there. So we're only trying to remove the overlay and you can just go like an eraser if you want. It's like so. And we got a little of the purple, I think that picked up on the other wing. Let's just erase that. And there we go. Go frame ahead, do it again. Now I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just demonstrating that this can be done. We're gonna take out just the rest of this one since we started it and then we'll play it back and I'll show you that this part will be gone. Okay. And we're going to stop right there. But now we do need to track the whole thing again. And I'm going to leave the playhead in the middle here for a second because I want you to see something. Click to start. So we're going to go ahead and finish it up. But it knows where to start. You see the little diamonds there? Those are basically uh, where we start and stop with each of the erasures that I made. And then right there, the bird drops off. So I think we got it. Let's hit save. And uh, let's play it and see what it looks like. We might have a little bit. Yeah, right there. And that's because I didn't complete it. I'm just trying, trying to show you that it can be done. So that's how you um, can work with Smart Cutout. There's all kinds of crazy things you can do with this tool um, to start thinking up stuff and um, you, you can make it happen. Let's go back one more time. Let's keep the bird done and let's go to Advanced Tools. You probably saw that and didn't know what it was. Uh, advanced Tools, Track 1 Section Reverse, Track Reverse, Track Forward and Reverse, Track Forward, Track 1 Section Reverse forward reverse and when you do click these uh, it does go ahead and process track reverse see what it's doing so i just reversed that part there track forward and reverse now we're going to basically track the whole thing so this allows you to go forward backwards erase things put things back you can get 
very, very specific here. And one more time, the final image. There's a little bit of that other bird came through, but you can take that out as I showed you. And that's it. That is one of the AI tools called Smart Cutout. I hope you enjoy that tool. I have been using it quite a bit. It's pretty fun. Uh, and now that it is done, you can just go down here, delete that whole track, drop another one behind it, and there's your bird. The bird's just going to stay now into whatever background you want to put it in. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon, and we'll look at some more of the new Filmora 12 features.